Do you know that today is day 70? We have been meeting online every day for 70 days in a row. That would mean that you have 70 hours of practice that you could go back to see. It'd be great. And I had wanted to take a moment, explain the larger, as I've had a chance to sort of work at this for these 70 days, some of the lessons learned, some of the aims for the days ahead of us. Good morning, loves, good morning. Um, of course, uh, my aim is, has always been an interest in the daily practice. There's such a direct simplicity to showing up and doing the same thing again and again. And when I do this, uh, the stability in one area allows and invites perspective on the instability in other areas. When all areas are sort of unstable, then my sensation is that everything about who I am is unstable. But actually, everything about who I am is changing. And so if I create a space, have a great afternoon, my love. I will see you soon. Bye, Adam. Um, if I create a space in particular that is consistent, and that I know myself as consistent in that space, then when there's inconsistency, I can just come apart a little bit and know it's okay. I can do this and it will put me back together. I had a fairly tumultuous morning and it's, uh, I don't identify with it to the same degree that I may have in the past because I know when I come and you and I spend this hour together, I will come out returned to myself because that's who I know myself to be. And this tumult that I experience in the morning, that's just tumult. That's just life and circumstance and hormones. And I know that with action and breath and consistency, I can come out the other side of that return to myself. And that knowledge is so reassuring because then I'm not trying to control my whole context. I'm not trying to control my friends and my family to react in ways that'll give, I, oh, gosh, I hope that my kids are in a good mood. The kids are experiencing their own tumult. Their job is not to stabilize me. My job is to stabilize me. So um, everything about what I'm trying to offer is this consistency that I will do my best to show up for 365 days. Right? Because I think that having an example and having something, even if you miss a day, even if you miss seven, to know in the back of your mind tomorrow, I'm going to get up and I'm going to meet her there. Fantastic. You are never behind and you have never fallen behind and you are never missing out. Every day, now we begin. Clean slate. We all start here. So that said, uh, today... I want to offer a very consistent and a very smooth practice. We have made modifications for some physical injuries along the way through this month for different reasons. And you know you can use the chair. You know you can modify and not put your hands overhead. Internally, though. So I'm on my cycle. And what that means, and basically we're all running on cycles at different times. And women, I want you to know what to do, that yes, you practice through your cycle. But if you think about action as a means that requires contraction and heat, when you're on your cycle, there's a, there's a density of energy that's beginning to gather so it can leave. You are primed to create a new life, and then that prime is no longer needed and it can pass through you. However, the pain, the discomfort, the tumult is when we're not allowing that passage, that release. So everything about my practice today is going to be about expanse. Every joint 
is going to be a point of expanse. Every emotion is going to be a point of, of flow and freedom. And in this way, I'm not necessarily cultivating power or stamina. I'm creating real clarity and ease. You practice exactly as you need to today. I will cue this so that you have an experience of when you need this, you can call on it. You can modify in every direction. Let's go. So building your seat, heart high, palms together. If it's ever too wordy at the beginning, you can always join in late. <laughs> or you can write in and say, look, I just want to show up and practice enough with the lessons. Either way. <laughs> I can't wait to see you as the studios reopen, maybe two weeks, maybe four, but I will be there on the weekends and I will be here. Hard high. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to everything outside of me that is the fabric that holds my small threads. Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the importance of my role to play in the day. Outside and in, we are essential. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Shake it out. Unfolding your blanket, come to hands and knees. Starting your playlist. Ad gure name. Block up in the front. Knees and shins are on the blanket. Hands are down. Let your heart be high up into your body. Rounding your back. Let your hips move side to side. <clears throat> Anchor the base of your thumbs into the floor and feel the collarbones open. And feel the backs of your collarbones widen. Let your head hang more heavily. And then releasing navel throat forward, inhale open and exhale to round. Inhale open, exhale round. And we start here feeling through the spine, moving from your pelvis to roll the spine right to the top of the head, the spine following where the pelvis tells it to go. Eyes closing, settle in. Turn your left thumb forward, turn your left fingers, left cat cow. The crease of your wrist is right over, right, sorry, right under your shoulder. And we're working out the energy of the arms and the hands. Turn your left thumb left one more turn so that your left thumb turns left and your left middle finger points towards your knee. And now continue to move through your spine. Eyes closed, a uh, sensation through the fingers, all the way to the pads of the fingers. And I'm moving more lightly, not as quickly, and not as deeply. I'm feeling into the center of my body to feel where is the energy most dense, and how can it be invited to move three. And turn your left fingers forward, turn your right thumb to the front. So the fingertips are at a right angle, they're perpendicular to each other. Keep the movement, bring it up into the chest, into the mid back, the back of the neck. And then right thumb turns right, and right fingers turn back. The middle of your right finger may turn all the way to your right knee. A little bit each day, each day. 
eyes closed, give it your concentration. All the way through the right side of the jaw, into the right ear, down the right side of your spine, two, one. And releasing hips back, full arms long. Drum your finger, fists open and close and rise. Turning your toes to the left, your body faces the right side of your mat, step your left foot to the center line, and bend. Inhaling up, and exhaling bend. So we're in the 21st day of our May sequence, and we get familiar, and in the familiarity, we can find some quiet. We can just listen what's changed where we're at in our body. Left elbow to left thigh, right hand overhead, and then elbow to root. Again, if your shoulder doesn't allow it, just reach to the front and bring it back. So that when you pause with your right arm, right beside your ear, you have little pulses from your right outer hip to your left kneecap. And then opening into the right ribs all the way to the right fingertips. And changing sides, left knee down, put your right foot to the back center point of the mat, bend your right knee. Your right knee is drawn towards the right little toe, your left toes are tucked under. Start in the limbs, right? We'll bring it into the body, but you start in the limbs. Elbow to thigh, hand over head, elbow to root. When we're familiar, we can begin to move with a little more grace. We can play with our certainty. We know where we're going. Arm beside your ear, little pulse. All the way through the neck, the jaw, the mouth, and two hands down and facing. So two hands to the floor, two feet to the floor, hips high, open the backs of the legs, lengthen and open the armpits. Rising up out of the palms, opening the elbows, from the elbows to the hands, press down, from the elbows to the hips, rise up. Step your right foot outside of your right hand, put your left knee to the floor. Left hand is on a block. If your shoulders don't allow it, put your right hand on your thigh so you can move forward and back or a big circle. So today, I, I'm not as deep in the crease of my hip, and the circle around me feels more protective and a little less athletic. It's less about the joint, and it's more about the space that's circumscribed by my fingers that surrounds me. Right arm beside your ear, pause. Start behind you, left toes into the floor to open the navel, left hand down to turn the right rib, bending your right knee softly, 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 the heart up, the front body opens and the right side releases. Your right hand down, stepping back, find your downward facing, tending to your right hand, right hip, right heel, set it back. Left foot steps up outside of your left hand, right knee to the floor, and your right hand on the block. Hand on thigh or a big circle, letting your hips rise and fall. Oh, opening. Feeling that circle of my fingertips all the way around me. 
And then left arm beside the ear. Stay. Start at the back. Press your right toes down. Turn the left ribs. Right hand goes down. And then bending the left knee softly. Open the navel. Open the heart. Open the face. And two hands downward facing dog, step it back. Left hand, left hip, left heel, stay for three. For two. And fold the blanket front to back and build your seat or sit on a chair. Sitting down. We'll all restart so that our songs together, Morpho, on your playlist, Morpho, sitting tall. So checking that shoulders are over hips and then checking that wrists are over shoulders. So I'm not rounded at all because if I'm rounded back, this, I can't find the alignment that I need in my spine. So either sitting higher, blanket, block, or chair, that alignment, and then find clockwise. Ahead is 12, behind is six. To the right is three, to the left is nine. Eyes closed. And then the breath is deep and simple and smooth. Old shoulder injuries and you can't have your hands overhead, hold your shoulder, hold your elbows and circle your shoulders right here. The circle will be deeper in your body, more around the navel than the chest. You can start there. You can move hands and thighs. Okay? And you feel into your body, where does your life force feel very dense? If you've been busy in your mind, your, your head may feel dense. If you have some emotional decision making ahead or behind you, you may feel density in the chest. If you have some concern, you may feel density in the low body. And so you breathe into that density and you let this circle start to create motion so that on the exhalation and with that motion, it can disperse. No congestion in the head. Easing the congestion in the heart. Releasing congestion in the low body. So that outside of you and inside of you feels even, vital, healthy. And then let it quicken and loosen. And that current both outside and inside is bright and free. Maybe you go quicker. Feed your breath into this little tiny hurricane of movement. Free your emotions. The experience swirling around you that what we have held within us no longer needed. Swirl it up. As though the very surface, the division between outside and inside could dissolve. 
Eyes closed, 10 seconds. Hands up high, chin up, three sips in. Heart up, chin in, seat firm, arms firm. Chin up and elbows down. Pause. Feel the space outside and inside. If we remove blocks in the body, we become seamlessly woven into what surrounds us. Legs out, shake out your feet, shake out your knees. Again, you may stay on your chair. Chair is fantastic. Monday has the most modifications, so if you need those, you can always replay Monday. Or cross your legs. So your heels are under your knees. You're on the outer edges of your feet. Hands up high, little fold, and a little rise. If you need to, too much in the shoulders, hold your outer elbows. Too much in your shoulders, hands on the knee, as you can. Inhale as you rise. Exhale and fall. Eyes closed. And you are not falling. You're folding with command, with control. That you are catching you. That you have the means to keep your own system safe. So that we can experience our own company as incredibly supportive. Sometimes we think of ourselves as destructive and we're frustrated with our cravings and habits and illness. Rewire to understand that you are holding you and you wish only the best for yourself. Folding in, feel the energy gather at the base rising up. It's free to it right through the fingers. We gather into the base and then we rise to let it disperse. One more. And set it down. Sitting tall, pause, two breaths. And hands and knees, set your blanket block aside. And find your dog, a shortened dog. If you need to, hands on blocks. That can bring it a little closer, make it easier on your shoulders. And then rocking to your right and to your left. You lift your heel, you lift your hand like you're picking up a button. And you're going to get yourself a little bit off balance, maybe even beginning to lift your foot, lift your finger. As you lean, press that bottom hand down, and that will give you stability. Press into the ground, build in tension. And then using that same principle, rock forward to lift your heels, rock back to lift your fingers. So press your hands down into the floor, and that will lift your heels, lift your hips right off. Lift your fingers, lift your feet. So you're using from your hands to your low belly to press and rise. Again, we're generating a quality of safety of I can hold my own weight in my hands, in my feet. I can rock side to side. I can catch myself when I feel uneasy. I am safe. And then walk your way back up. Keep your hands at your hips, folding down and rising up. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe hands up the backs of the legs and down. Continuing there or folding. If your hamstrings and your low back feel strong and safe, lead with your heart, lead with your fingers. 
Finding the motion that serves you. A little bend in the knees keeps your low back safe. One more. To stand tall, palms face forward. We're removing blocks from the body. And so we pause and check in and see, how's the circulation? What's the sensation around my heart? What's the sensation around my body? We're not just circulating blood. We're circulating energy, prana, chi. Right? Stagnation in our energy body is the precursor, the very beginning, the seed of illness. Little tap, little tap. So we'll make ordered movements and then we'll make disordered movements so that we can both clarify ourselves and at the same time come undone. Both these things serve us. You may stay right here. First start a little bit. Hold up. My butt's pretty small and pretty low today. If you were on your cycle and you felt a real heaviness through the low body, even through the organ of the uterus, I'd just keep your feet on the floor. Depends on how you are, but give yourself permission. Because some days you can feel fantastic and you want to just rip into it. That's great. Get to it. We're going to come undone in a moment. Three, two, one. Out the hand, out the shoulder. Whew. Where is it caught? Where is it stuck? Out the heels, out the hands. Three, two, return and feel the change. Like taking everything out of the kitchen drawer and really shaking out a dish towel. And then when you fold everything and put it back in, it works. Get your breathing going, remove stagnation. Our shelter at home can feel a little confined right now, so get a little bigger, hands overhead. We'll shake it out. Three, two, one, out. Stamping fists like you were throwing something into the floor. Come back. Oh, you can't describe the clarity. It's such an extraordinary thing to come undone and then come back into your power. Stay here if you choose, or shake it out for five, four, ha, three. Always into my heels, it gets so sticky. And now really settle in. And will you allow yourself to be potent? Ha, will you allow yourself to take a full breath? Ha! Five, four, three, two, and hands on body. Sometimes that moment right here, it's like the first breath that you've really taken today. It is an unstoppable breath, an unquestionable breath. Go with it. without trying to slow down, without trying to hold on. Feel the momentum of blood moving through your good body. The blood needs to go to every single cell carrying nutrients. The energy 
of this pranic force needs to go to every single cell. Do the upper body. So bring it down to your seat, be it cross-legged or on your chair, set yourself up. Making fists, hands the height of your shoulders, shoulders up. Roll it forward, one, then the other. If this is too much, you're gonna roll your shoulders right here and really kind of move it around, get it unstuck. Close your eyes, we go. X, 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 X. Three, two, one. Inhale. Hands down. And inhale up. Three sips, go. And shake it down. Sitting tall, feel the space within you. Clear. Free. Ordered, but not tamed. Not looking to tame, not looking to domesticate ourselves. We're making enough space that we can live as freely, as fully, as wildly as the day demands. Onto your back, bringing it back into the body. If you know your stretch pose and you just want to work that full 90 seconds, both feet walk out and you find your breath. Otherwise, hands on knees or reaching towards heels, a whisper of ha. Close the mouth, out the nose. I will do long, smooth breathing. On your cycle or pregnant, long, smooth breathing. One leg out. So finding a full, steady breath as you need to, or that steady, that whisper of ha, right out the nose. Change if you've got one leg going. So today I'm holding my shin, I'm finding compression through the joint, I'm really massaging into the low abdomen, steady on. And you can work towards your stretch pose, which is two legs long. Or if you're on your cycle, you're pregnant, you're gonna hold both shins and just stay for three. Wherever you are, widening the tops of your shoulders, firming through the arms towards the fingertips, towards the toes. And then holding shins, head and shoulders to the floor. And a roll forward and a roll back. Cross your ankles, hold your shins. If you'd like to go for a half lotus, you put a foot on top of the thigh. Otherwise, the legs are crossed and you're simply rolling towards a taller seat as you conclude each one. And the roll here is flushing out the hips, the heart coming a little higher, a little more forward. And one more sitting tall. Hot, hands on thigh. Mm. 
And all the way forward. Hands and knees, child's pose, knees wide, toes together. And sit your hips to your heels. And as you rise up, you circle your hips. Can be large, can be small. Closing your eyes. Allow that circle into your shoulders and your wrists. And then allow the circles to dissolve. Allow the instructions of your mind to dissolve. And allow your body to move as it needs. You may go anywhere, anywhere, feel. But it's not even really into poses. It's into little puddles, little collapses, little pools. Doesn't need to be organized in any way to allow ourselves great disorder. Ah, the one side doesn't necessarily do the same as the other. all the way through the ribs, all the way through the outer hips, all the way through the neck and throat and face. Mm. Then bring it back into the middle and three times cat cow the way we began. And fall to your child and be still. And just notice that stillness. So maybe the physical body becomes still, but also maybe there's something still moving internally. That this body of energy, of light, of momentum is moving. And come up. Knees towards your wrist, cross your ankles, roll it back. Pausing. Hips up, put your palms under your hips, draw your knees to your chest. And then one leg extends and you change legs. And you change legs. To modify, go a little higher so your heels extend higher than your knees or the heels pressing out the height of your hips, eyes closed, each one an exhalation. As you get stronger, draw your lower abdomen in back towards the spine and move right from the navel point and maybe a little quickly, 40 seconds. Eyes closed. And feet down, free your hands, hips down. Hands on thighs, press away, open the abdomen. And then walk your legs out, firm your feet. Bring your hands up, palms face each other. Inhale as you open wide and then exhale, palms almost touch. Inhale, open, ax to touch, open and close. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And firming your low body. 
Feet flexed as though standing, legs strong, eyes closed. Open the space around you. This space of the heart, your strongest electromagnetic charge, far stronger than the head. We live from here. All of June will be about this heart space and its energy. Calling the energy, the ability, the courage up through the body and out through the heart. And two, one, hands down, legs relax, head relax, body surrenders, let go. Feeling as though you could fall right through the floor. that you could fall further through the floor. It's right here that we can become familiar with this blocklessness. Can we live without blocks? in our body, not just physical tension, but the way that we hold ourselves as separate, judging and measuring the words of our friends or our families. Is it what they really mean? I you to fall and all those questions can fall away. And for a moment, there is an ease in your body. And you are completely safe. And your physical body is completely safe. Your emotions are safe. Your thoughts are safe. Go a little further into that quiet. Let your breathing settle in your abdomen. And the body is open. Feel the weight of your heels on the floor. The backs of your hips, backs of your hands, backs of your shoulders, back of your head. Feel the support of the floor. Feel how the front body, the chest and the belly, the kneecaps, the tip of your nose feels weightless. Which means that in between front body and back body is a vast space. Anywhere there is contraction or congestion, allowing the inhalation into that space and dispersing it out through the exhalation.
so that that sensation of spaciousness can grow in your body and beyond your body, the space around you, open and clear. Feel, see, or sense a point of light at the base of your throat. Base of the throat, feel, see, or sense a point of light and the body open. The right shoulder point of light, the right elbow, right wrist, right palm, points of light, body effortless. The tip of your right thumb, a point of light, the tip of your right first finger, tip of your right middle finger, tip of your right ring finger, and tip of your right pinky finger. Points of light, the body effortless. Left wrist, left, right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, points of light, the body at ease. The base of the throat, see, feel, sense, point of light. Left shoulder, point of light, the body at ease. Left elbow, left wrist, left shoulder, points of light, body effortless. The tip of your left thumb, a point of light. The tip of your left first finger, Tip of your left middle finger, tip of your left ring finger, tip of your left pinky finger, points of light, the body at ease. Left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder, points of light. The base of the throat, see, feel, sense, point of light. Center of the chest, a point of light. Left chest, a point of light, the body effortless. Right chest, a point of light, body at ease. Base of the throat, see, feel, sense, point of light. In the center of the forehead, point of light. In the center of the forehead, see, feel, sense, point of light. Aware of all these points of light at once. Release everything in between.
soften around the mouth. Soften the skin around your eyes. A weightlessness across the face. Without changing your expression, feel the sensation of a smile around your eyes. Without changing your expression, feel the sensation of a smile in the mouth. Breathing that sensation into the lungs. Circulating that sensation of a smile through the heart. Keep it with you, hands overhead. <sighs> Draw your right knee to your chest. Firm the left leg, roll your ankles open and close your toes. Ah, left hand to reach overhead. You can shake out your right foot, draw your right knee a little closer and press your left heel away. Bending the left knee, left foot flat, cross your right ankle over your right knee, right hand on the right thigh, press away. And your breath just drops down into the low belly. Draw your left thigh closer. Interlace your fingers behind the thigh or over the shin. Mm. Press your shin away. Press your thigh into your hands, whatever you've got hold of, and then press your right knee away. Flex point your toes. Arms are straight, and this begins to open the backs of your shoulders, the back of your neck, the base of your skull. Right knee away, a little side to side. Feet moving, point flex, point flex. And the right leg straightens to the floor. <sighs> Roll your ankles, open and close your toes, open and close your jaw. And the right hand overhead. Good, good, good. The pelvis changes, the navel changes, the ribs change. Bend your right knee, right foot flat, cross your left ankle over your right knee, left hand on the left thigh, press away. Loosen your jaw. Drawing your right thigh towards you, your right shin towards you, interlace behind the thigh or over the shin, Roll a little bit side to side, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in and then pressing your shin or your thigh into your hands. Press your left knee away and flex point your toes. Open the tops of your shoulders by pressing into your fingers. Ah, press your left knee away. Flex point your toes, wash it side to side. Good. And then the left leg goes long. Put the sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh or to your calf, as you can. Right hand to your right thigh, left hand to your left ribs, and roll your right thigh toward the floor, and your left ribs toward the floor. Ah, and feel your belly button open. Stand in your left heel, take your left hand overhead, a full tree. And then changing sides, right leg straight, left heel in, left hand to your left thigh, right hand to your right ribs and press your thigh into your foot, push your foot into your thigh, roll your chest open, your ribs open. Flex point, flex point. And right hand overhead. The navel opens, the body strong. The more adaptable you are with your practice, knees to your chest, the more you adapt this for you so that you can do it every day and create the outcome you choose, that adaptability will translate to your parenting, your workplace, your food, every aspect that requires problem solving 
requires adaptability. And this is what you are building so beautifully when you make the practice right each day. Right heel down, left knee high. Interlace your fingers and draw the left knee up and the right heel down, opening the right hip. So we're not resting in the hip, we're coming up out of it. Right hand high, up out of the shoulder, up out of the hip and down into the heel. <sighs> to change sides, left heel into the ground means the right knee can rise. Interlace your fingers, right knee high. Up out of that left hip, left hand high. Just starting to establish the feet. Set your gaze on one point and set it down to change. So building tree. The ball of your left foot to the floor, your heel on your ankle perhaps, or your inner calf, or your inner thigh. Not the knee, please. Left hand on inner thigh, right hand on rib, or a hand on the wall. Opening through the navel means the tail drops as the heel drops, as the right thigh lengthens, as the right hand comes up. Left knee back, left hand high. Total freedom, front body, back body. Stand in your feet, press your foot to the floor, press your foot to your thigh. And down. Right ball of foot to the floor, right heel to the ankle, to the calf, or to your inner thigh. Down into the left heel, left hand, left rib, right hand, right knee, open the middle, open the middle, left hand up. Good. Left heel to the floor, right hand high. Pressing into your feet, free the chest. So the more you press into the feet, the softer the shoulders become and the stronger the clarity that you can experience. Right to the fingertips. Setting it down, shake it up, wag your tail, palms together. And find your fingertips along your forehead, little taps across the upper eyebrows, across the center line of the forehead and to the temples, little taps, little taps, down the side of the jaw, to the tip of your jaw, little taps, all the way back up to the crown of your head, right to that point, widen out towards the ears, back to the top of the head, down to the back of the head, and then around to the ears, to the back of the head, down to the base of the skull, the neck, hold the tops of your shoulders, and draw your shoulders down and bring your heels down right under your hips, elbows down, press into your feet to lift your chest. Oh, pull down on the shoulders, elbows down, firm it all, firm it all, firm it all. Oh, so you can release, make a fist and go down your arm inside and outside and circle around the chest. Beautiful little love thumps. And then the right hand down the arm, fantastic for immunity, super lymphatic flush here, around the chest, and then it's soft around the abdomen, oh, inner thighs, inner knees, outer shins, backs of legs, super if you've been running or walking lately, sides of the legs, backs of the legs, hamstrings and glutes, all the way to the low back. And then shake it loose. You're just going to sweep it up and call it in. Inhale up. And then shake it down. All out the fingertips. Inhale up. And all out. How do you need to move? Where is it caught? Where is it sticky? Last time. Get it out. Ready? Inhale. And shake it down. The palms together. Heart high, eyes closed, and your mind are allowed to repeat, I expand in success, abundance, and love every day. As I inspire those around me to do the same. Hands to your forehead center, I am this, Satnam. In eight count sat, two count nam, inhale. 
Satnama em cima e só. Namaste a si. Feel the space around you. You get sticky, you get congested for any reason, internal, mental, external, physical. Breathe into that congestion and just let it back out into the greater field that surrounds you and, and supports you. Fabulous. I will see you tomorrow, Friday noon, right here. Replay it, share it with your people. If there are folks you know who are just stir crazy in their house, it's a great way to get people moving so slightly. If you need modifications, big, like modifying the whole thing, try out the Monday practice uh, from this week. And I will be here Saturday, 9.30 for Vinyasa at 9.30. And then Sunday morning, 8 a.m. For our Sunday class, we'll have a Dharma talk at 9.10 to 9.30. Getting into the heart. And when we open the blocks of the body, we're accessing the ability of the heart to move all the way through us. And our heart tissue, the pericardium that surrounds the physical organ, that tissue extends all the way into the palms of your hands, right? So physically, our actions are made by the tissue that surrounds that which holds our physical heart. So this heart energy is so important. Um, if you're interested, we've got balms that are essential oils that help distribute this energy. One is really accessing kind of the beauty of that energy. And another is creating and establishing a really healthy energetic flow, rebalancing. So today I have this on my... Uh, on the tops of my feet and across my low abdomen uh, and across the collarbones. So there's an energetic flow and there's a heart love flow and you can find it under oils on marthamacalpin.com slash oils and I will send it to you. So I will see you soon. Send me any questions. That's mine.